at more sport in the next hour. Meantime, behind me in number 10, Downing Street, cabinet talks have been continuing for in excess of five hours as ministers try to find some way to remedy the Brexit crisis. Our political editor, Faisal Islam, is on Whitehall at the end of Downing Street, hoping to head them off at the pass as they finally leave. One wonders um, what they might have achieved, Faisal. Well, it's a long old meeting, isn't it, uh, Kay? Uh, and uh, it's because the Prime Minister is struggling to find a fundamental solution to her problem. Does she try and change the substance of her deal? Uh, accept a customs union? That's very difficult for the Conservative Party that see Brexit as a means to get new free trade deals. You can't really do that with the customs union. Single market, difficult as regards freedom of movement. Try and change the deal. The EU have said no. Uh, and that means you can't really get the DUP on board. So does she go for a process change of some description, a general election? Difficult now, just so happens, if you believe some of the polls, that the Conservatives have gone into second place just in the week when some are considering a general election. So a referendum, well, difficult to, she's ruled that out. But when you have a Prime Minister and a government that's ruled out everything, something's got to give. Meanwhile, that process that we've been talking about in the House of Commons can, uh, continues. Uh, they haven't been able to find an alternative, but I understand this morning a meeting at uh, 8 a.m. in the morning, and uh, they seem to be changing strategy, K, uh, moving away from these indicative votes towards some sort of Cooper bill which will enable uh, a, a legislation to be passed potentially in a day uh, to extend uh, the Article 50 process again. So, all sorts of things going on. They argue that they're stepping in to a vacuum of leadership. The question is, whether the Prime Minister will come up with anything different at all. Uh, and after a five-hour meeting, surely she can't just come out and announce another run round the same circle in terms of putting her same deal. But well, you wouldn't put it past her either. <laughs> you make a very good point, uh, Faisal. We'll have to wait and well, see. Hang on, well, we're... hang on, hang on. Kate, Kate, bear, bear with me. Bear, bear with me, because I just... You know, why did you just shout treason? I mean, what, how's she's, that help? She's, she's how's act, that help? She's acting against the interests of the country. Well, no, she's doing what she thinks is in the interests of, of the country. I mean, so you I, may disagree with that, but I why do you shout treason? I'm not the why do you shout treason? Because she's acting against the interests well, of the country. you disagree with her, but why do you call that treason? That's because not... she's a traitor. That's what the word is. Look up in the dictionary what the word means. Well, you think that, but other people I'm might say that one. you're... Well, you are. You can't just call... Well... So how is being a member of a customs union allowing freedom of movement, leaving the European Union. That's different. That's a vile, that's a vile, that's a di difference of opinion. But you're shouting names at the Prime Minister who's trying to come up with a solution. Truth hurts, it's Faisal. Truth but no, you what think it's the truth, but we have politics so people can mediate between differences of opinion. And you're, in, you're saying your opinion, uh, if people don't agree with your opinion, they're traitors. How does that help? We live in a free country. I'm allowed to say that. Yeah, but how does it help the process of coming to me, an opinion? You give me the right to say I'm asking, I'm, I don't yeah. give you the right to do anything. You can do whatever you want to, <laughs> but you're calling the Prime Minister a traitor. I'm saying... Because she's working language. against the interests of the country. Well, she, she, Have she, you noticed how comfortable she is when she's with her friends in Brussels? How more comfortable she is when she's in Europe compared to the, her friends in Brussels? How more comfortable she is when she's in Europe compared to the place over the road? Well, I, I don't notice that at all. Well, I don't, you, you, I you assert so. that. You I assert that. So. Anyway, I just thought I had to pick Thank you up on the language. There, there we go. Sorry about that, Kay. Uh, some uh, protesters here, you know... It's become quite normal using that type of language, and True I just thought it was worth checking out exactly why people feel it's OK to call politicians uh, traitors and use words like treason. That was his explanation. There shall be a bit more of that as we go on. I'll pass back to you in Downing Street. <laughs> Faisal's had his three-shredded week today, hasn't he? It's still to come on the programme for us this afternoon. Back to Faisal very shortly indeed. What's going on behind that door? We'll have the latest on a cabinet in crisis. That to come.